July 27th, 2021, you can see this aircraft coming in and they're going to go ahead and hit very hard here and flips over the top. There was two on board. Sadly, one did not make it. The other one was seriously injured. This is the aircraft here as it ended up. Looked like relatively flat ground, but we're going to figure out what happened in this NTSB final report, July 27th. Pilot receiving instruction and the flight instructor were conducting a flight review. After completing some maneuvers, they returned to the airport to accomplish a simulated engine out straight in approach. During the final approach, the airplane was fast on a few occasions and the pilot used a speed brake to slow down and descend. On short final the airplane was slow the flight instructor told the pilot to use power although the pilot added power the plane landed hard 500 feet short in soft terrain nose over and came rested inverted so that again is how it looks like from a different angle a lot of speed coming in as you saw from the video and this was the aircraft here a rutan long easy experimental plane november 966 echo zulu a uh, little bit different from the Model 61 that John Denver flew in and crashed. And then here's the ground scars from the accident site. So it looks flat. And a lot of times, I mean, it doesn't take much. If you're coming in that fast, you can see the ground scars and it hits. That nose gear hits hard. And, uh, you know, when you stop this abruptly, everybody inside the cockpit continues flying at that speed and that's what causes the major injuries um, so the post-accident examination of the airframe and engine revealed no evidence of pre-impact mechanical failures or malfunctions that would preclude normal operation the speed brake was found extended it is likely that the slow airspeed on short final approach in combination with the extended speed brake resulted in a sink rate that the pilot was unable to overcome and resulted in a hard uh short hard landing short of the runway so, so here is the flight aware as you can see they were doing some maneuvers and then they were heading back to uh ryan airport if any of you are familiar with this ryan airfield um they're trying to land on runway six right um so you can see a lot of open field here um so very unfortunate that they crashed the way they did here they have it inside looking at all the engines they're tr going to try see if there's anything that uh the ntsb can find as far as mechanically that could have caused it but again they said they didn't so the flight instructor elected to conduct the flight review from the rear seat of the tandem seat airplane which was not equipped with throttle or rudder controls additionally the flight instructor was unable to see the flight instruments and had limited visibility outside the airplane due to the limited visibility and lack of flight instruments and controls in the back seat the flight instructor was likely unable to adequately assess the airplane's flight parameters and touchdown point and take appropriate remedial action so yeah very hard just the way that um, these aircraft are lined up the, there's not much the um, instructor could do from behind here and uh, here's some more information so pilot information 87 year old male the instructor was 88 so does age have uh something to do with it uh, i'm sure for for surviving the crash um you know that definitely plays a part uh flight time you know they had some good flight time here uh in this aircraft and then here's the engine viewed from the right side is they're examining that aspect of it and the probable cause on this one the pilot's failure to maintain adequate airspeed and to retract the speed brake during the approach which resulted in a hard landing short of the runway contributing to the accident was the flight instructor's decision to conduct a flight review in an airplane without the appropriate visibility flight instruments and controls for him to adequately assess the airplane's uh parameters touchdown point to take appropriate remedial action some more information if you want to read they interviewed the surviving instructor and this is a breakdown of basically everything that happened uh, but very sad hopefully some lessons can be learned in this one in arizona so if you want to see more you can always uh, click on the playlist for more ntsb final reports i find these very interesting to go over and i hope you found it interesting as well so thanks for watching this is our i'll see you guys next time